Hi, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to download SQL Developer and how to access Oracle database with SQL Developer. Open your internet browser, search for Oracle, navigate to oracle.com. You have to have an Oracle account in order to download Oracle products. Click on sign in or register. Sign in if you do have an Oracle account. If you don't, then create new one. It's free. Just click on Create Account and provide your personal details. Once you have logged in, click on Downloads. Scroll down. Click on Developer Tools. Click on SQL Developer. You have to accept license agreement in order to download. And scroll down. There are different download links for different operating systems. Currently, I'm using Windows 10, but I have to know what type of system I'm running. It's quite simple. Right-click on computer icon and select Properties. My system type is 64-bit. So, I'm going to download the first package. Once the download finish, show the containing folder. You have to decompress the compressed file for SQL Developer. Right click and select Extract All. Click on Extract. SQL Developer is a portable developer tool. That means no installation required. Just run it from the extracted folder but it's a good practice to place the extracted folder of SQL Developer in the system partition. You can place it either in program files for 64-bit applications or in program files x86 for 32-bit applications. I'll paste it in program files since it's for 64-bit. Now open SQL Developer folder. Create a shortcut for SQL Developer on the desktop. If you have a fresh installation of Windows, and when you try to run SQL Developer, you might get an error message like this. Unable to launch the Java Virtual Machine. The solution for this issue is very simple. Right click on SQL Developer and select Open File Location. Now open JDK folder. Open JRE folder and open BIN folder. Search for msvcr100.dll and copy this file. Go back to the main folder. Now open SQL Developer folder. Open bin folder and paste the file here. Click on Continue. Now let's try to run SQL Developer. To access Oracle Database with SQL Developer, click on the plus green button. 
and in this pop-up window, let's provide the connection information. For the field connection name, give it any name you want. For username and password, I will use HR schema. HR as username and HR the password. Host name, it's localhost. That's mean my Oracle database has been installed on the same machine. Port number, to access Oracle database. It's the default 1521. And SID, it's the system identifier or global Oracle database name. If you forgot the SID, it's okay. Open run window by pressing on start and R keys. Then type surfaces.msc. In the surfaces window, search for Oracle Surface. After Oracle Surface, you will find the system identifier SID or global Oracle database name. My SID is Safa. Click on Test. Look at the status message. If it shows success, that's mean everything is good and you're ready to connect with Oracle database. Otherwise, something wrong with the connection information or Oracle surface is not running well. Now, click on Connect. That's all. I hope this video tutorial was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.